The National Board of Canvassers has started tallying votes for the Bangsamoro plebiscite. The board, though, never made it past one ballot box. That's because they noticed discrepancies in the documents from Cotabato City. The board also grilled the acting election officer from the city over these inconsistencies. Dale De Vera has the details. The National Plebiscite Board of Canvassers started opening election returns from the recently held Bangsamoro Plebiscite. The board opened the first ballot box containing Cotabato City's Certificate of Canvas or COC. The yes garnered over 36,000 votes, while the no gathered close to 25,000 votes. But the board quickly raised questions over discrepancies in figures reflected on the Statement of Votes or SOV and those that appeared on the COC. Uh, we just noticed from the Certificate of Canvas that the total number of votes who actually voted uh, reflected in this document says 39,027. But if you total the votes obtained by yes and no, it would certainly be more than uh, 39,027. The board noted that there's a discrepancy of more than 22,000 when the actual number of votes is compared with the recorded number of votes. Comex spokesperson James Jimenez earlier clarified that these were clerical errors and had already been rectified at the city level. Cotabato City's acting election officer Romel Rama explained the inconsistencies. The sub-campusing unit of honor are just adapting whatever figures appearing on the election returns, Your Honor. So if there are no entries made by the PLEBCOM pertaining to the total number of registered voters in that particular precinct, the number of voters who actually voted and who did not vote, we cannot make an entry on the sub canvassing unit, Your Honor. The board also noted that the number of no votes that were recorded on the SOVs missing at least 2,000 votes compared to the figure that was entered on the COC. Your total no votes in your certificate of canvas is 24,984. Where did that figure come from? It is the um, figures provided by the ABG owner. The Comelec Anbang, however, was not satisfied with Rama's explanation, so they decided to forward the results in Cotabato City to the Audit and Tabulation Committee so they could get into the bottom of these disparities before deciding on the matter. The board has also received the COCs from Isabella City and Basilan Province, but they decided to open them today along with other COCs from the ARMM. For News 5, Dale Devera, We are One News.